So first of all, we're starting with the first layer on our berries. And I only do this with white chocolate because white chocolate gets transparent. And if you want really good looking berries, smooth berries, you want to do two coats. So I add two coats to them. Um, obviously, very, very thin layer, the first layer, because if you do too thick of a layer, when you add the second layers, it's going to be too thick. And then it's going to be uncomfortable for the person to even bite into it. So I always suggest doing two layers if you want a very smooth layer, a very smooth looking berry. And then here I have my little mold. Um, this I got from Etsy. Uh, it does take a little bit long to sh ship. Uh, it told me about a week, but in reality, it took me a little bit longer. But I do recommend it at the end of the day. It makes good looking berries. And then here I have some chocolate. I had a little bit left over of like minty chocolate. And then I just added more white and added food coloring. Um, I do use the uh, color mill, like I said. They are a bit pricey, but if you're trying, if you're taking this job serious and you know, want the best looking. Or closest to their theme I really recommend it because I started off with a marine color and I think they're great but I think it was time in my business where I am getting a lot of more dip desserts and sometimes people want I always mention it but I got this order and they wanted sage green I was like this is not possible for me to always be playing that guessing game with a marine color and not even getting the color I do want um, especially purple or just things like that so I really, really do recommend a, a color mill. And if you have the funds for it, go invest in yourself. I always say investing in your knowledge, invest in your business, uh, good quality things. The chocolate I'm using is color mill, uh, color mill. It is Merkins. I could buy it off Amazon. All the links will be listed down below. Um, with this one, I did not dip twice. I know it is white chocolate, but I didn't dip twice. I just don't take as much as the X's off. Plus, we're going to drizzle them so you won't even tell. Um, we all work differently, but I always show exactly how I work. Um, and this is just things I've been learning throughout the way. Now, like I mentioned before, I not only take one course of strawberries. I took the same course of strawberries brought from someone else because we always learn different things. So, like... I say investing in your knowledge is just going to be better for you in the long run. The more you know, you know, the best looking berries you can offer. You can get more clients, the better your work looks, you know. Hopefully that makes sense. I am planning to do a course here in May. So it'll be $25, super cheap. I paid up to $100, $95 for a course. So it is going to be a very good deal. I don't like to rip people off, but I do take my time and do all the dialogue so I don't forget. Now, like here, sometimes I do say it. Sometimes I don't mention it. Sometimes I word things different. No, we're doing full dialogue so I don't miss anything. So, um, like I said, do really nice drizzle. Uh, my drizzle's not perfect. I would say it's passable. Um, I'm still working on it, but I do like to make mine not too thin not too thick if it's too thick it looks very tacky if it's too thin and but then the sprinkles sometimes you can't even get to the sprinkles when they're already dried you know so i only added sprinkles on half of the berry not the full berry um i think that's what looked best and i only did it on half because the other half i just drizzled and we're gonna add letters to those so i used just a simple little sandwich bag you can use the other ones which I do recommend like the the other brand I use is Ateco like I said I'll leave it in the description box I get like a hundred or two hundred of those for like thirteen dollars um and it gives you more precise especially for the bunny eyes you're gonna want that well I personally like that one best because it, it is more precise than these are so obviously just let them dry and that's it so for the eyes, like I said, I do like to use my little template, as I call it, um, of, you know, writing it first with a marker. And this chocolate is very, for it forgives you. It's very forgivable, if that's a word, um, because you literally can wipe it off and it doesn't even look smeared or like you made an air. So I do like to do that since this is my only second time actually doing eyes. And like I said... If you do too thick of an eye or if your eyes are, they don't look good, they're going to look like little monsters instead of it looking cute. So I do like to use these edible markers um, to help me out as I'm starting 
you know, do more decorations. Like I said, I am using the piping bags for this so we can get a better looking berry. And you don't want to fully melt your chocolate or if you do fully melt it, um, let it sit for a little bit because you don't want really thin chocolate because it's just going to literally drip down. Basically, to make the breakable heart, you need a mold. There's two types of molds. I'm just going to say one's more flexible than the other ones, but the flexible one is a little bit bigger but uh not as tall as this one so it's optional i'll leave the links down below i also i also have some um i have of both so whichever one you prefer one's 12 the other one's 13 message me if you want to buy it from me or you can purchase on bigger companies like amazon whichever you prefer i'll leave my instagram down below and go quick because last time you guys waited and i was sold out by the time you guys wanted the other molds um so the penis molds will be coming in um i would say mid april if you're still interested in purchasing any of those so obviously you need chocolate and i honestly put about four ounces of chocolate and just move it around there i do do two coats i'll be doing a video more in depth once i have more tips to give you since i am pretty freshly new yes i probably made a good 10 of them but still i don't consider myself an expert or like i know it all i'm still learning through the process and i don't like to ever i don't know do full-on details or say tips that i heard but never really tried on myself i'm very honest with you guys and i always when i do give you tips it's just because i personally go through it so i would like to experiment a little bit better once i do a full-on detail on these but i'll leave the um decoration just on here if anyone wants to do it for inspiration or whatever you guys want to do it so i do like to pull it apart from all the sides first before actually trying to attempt and take it out so as you can see it's really really fairly easy as long as you put an even uh, coat layer on both sides then it should come out perfect and so the reason why i like this one is because it's a little bit thicker uh, so that way people can actually put more things on there and i'm sorry i didn't record when i put um did these little feet but these molds were from etsy however i don't really recommend the seller they took forever if they tell you it's gonna come i don't know the first of april uh it's gonna get here like two weeks later than what they said um so you're gonna be waiting a total of a month so but i know you guys are gonna ask me hey where's your mold from so that's why i like to respond but i honestly don't recommend it and i had a few girls who do exactly the same thing as me who stay in contact and they told me the same thing that they ordered from her and they went through the same thing <laughs> so of course later on i just stick everything with a piping bag and then i do put a little bit of this uh gold and um it is not 100 percent edible i always like to mention that um it's not toxic like you're, you're not gonna die but it's only meant for small decorations if that makes any sense so i only added it on some and loves just so it would pop a little bit more you guys can do it however i just like to show my work and i know you guys are going to be asking hey how much did you give it for and i gave this for 50 dollars. i do 35 for the breakable heart and um 15 for the berries which is a pretty good price keep in mind we do decorate them quite a lot i'll leave all everything i use in the description box um the boxes i use everything everything will be done in the description box and you might think $35 is a lot for the breakable heart, but believe me, it does take up a quite a lot of chocolate. Um, so that's just something to keep in mind. Like I said, I will do a video more in depth soon, but I do personally want to know, like experiment more with it so I can give you guys tips um, on everything. Hope that made sense. Sorry, I'm rambling all over. Um, if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to give it a like. It helps me with the rating of the video and stay tuned for new videos.